Alright. Okay. First of all, if you don't mind, I'm, my name is Russ Coley. I'm a reporter with the Widener Dome magazine, student magazine, and I'm covering a story about the homeless people and the septic terminal that live here. They actually live here. Right. And the weather's getting bad and it's going to be too yeah. cold for them to be out here. And as a, as a passenger that pays money to use the trains, how do you feel like now? Say if you had to go to the bathroom. There's no bathrooms here. How do you feel about that? Everything locked down. Everything's locked down. Everything's locked down. I mean, hey, you got to go somewhere, don't you? That's right. That's right. I mean, hey. Okay. But, I mean, before I hit the homes up here, I mean, they should have some kind of shelter here. Okay. Well, I sh think they do, though. Well, they have a city team ministry right. around it, there. It's a city team. And they have a Wesley house there, but Miss Elba was just telling us that that's for families. It's not for single women like herself. And there's other people to stay here. There's men. For some reason, they can't go to the shelter around there. Oh, but do you feel threatened if you come up here to catch a train and people do I are, feel threatened? Yeah, no. sleeping up here. And no, I don't. Okay. I and, do not. Okay. Oh, and, and for the interview, if you don't mind, just tell us your name and where you're Alfred, from. I've been raised up here in Chester. You was raised in Chester? But I moved to Bear, Delaware. Okay, you live in Bear, Delaware. And that's where I'm going now. Okay, that's not it. Not that one. Again, we're live at the Chester Terminal. We're talking to a patron. His name is Alfred. Alfred. Calas. Calas. And he's telling us, you know, what he sees. Like now, as opposed to the 69th Street Terminal, there's always a bathroom open. Here in the Chester Terminal, people pay the same amount of money for bus fares, train fares, and they don't have nowhere to go to the bathroom. There's no safety here. As you can see, there's no SEPTA transit police uh, looking, I mean, patrolling to make sure the passengers are safe. And right in the background, if you can just see over there, uh, can we get Harris? They have that everywhere else, don't they, man? Yes, they do. They do, don't they? Yeah. And, and, they don't have it here. And, and we're trying to figure out why yeah. the people in Chester don't Come seem to. Think about it. I, I do. Because the thing about I do feel what you're saying. Yeah, if you go to if you go to the Wilmington yeah, train station. They do have it. It's clean. Yeah, it's I cops do. there. I can use the bathroom and You can use the bathroom <laughs> anytime. You have to wait for a train. You don't have to worry about being robbed no, or mugged. I and don't. she was just telling us that. People yeah, have tried to don't. rob her, people have tried to rape her, and there's really? nothing around. Yeah, look, you see, you don't see yeah, no I camera. Yeah, yeah. Someone wait. could really get hurt. Someone could get there. hurt. Okay. Somebody really can. Okay. You know what I mean? Especially female. Right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think they can, but hey, maybe somebody needs to step up. Okay. Well, step up to the plate. as we said, we're writing this. We wrote a three part series about this, and this is the first time we're actually shooting live on location. Wow. So we can show city officials, county officials, even state officials. We have a state representative's office right there. We have State Senator uh, Dominic Pelleggi's office right there. We have the mayor's office right there. We have Chester Police. Somebody need to do something if about this. If there's anything this. I could do, man, I would love to help, man. Okay. Because believe me, man, they should have this, this stuff open here, man. They should, man. Hey, come on, man. I, I should be able to go down and use the bathroom, just like you say, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm paying my money. That's right. So if you did have to use the bathroom, the only option you had would be to go somewhere out right, here. Right, step off to the corner. Okay. Because I notice sometimes catching the elevator that the elevator smells like urine and yeah, people yeah. don't have nowhere else yeah. to go. Right. What are they going to do? Yeah, right. Uh, okay. All right. Well, Alfred, thank you for your yeah. time participating yeah, you in this too, interview. Man. Yeah. Yes, ma'am? Did you say? Yes, I did. Yep. Alright, you have a go. Okay, you too. Alright, <laughs> no, I called back and he said it was customer service. Safe service.